Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Android P, Android 9.0 Pi. It was announced yesterday that Pi would be the official name for Android 9.0 and it was made available for all Pixel devices and Pixel 2 devices. It also seems like Essential is also pushing out the update as well to their devices. So keep in mind that this is the final version of Android P way ahead of when the Pixel 3 is coming out. So I'm really excited to share with you guys some of the latest updates in that build, as well as the ability to actually check out the finally the digital well-being application that was announced at Google I.O. but was never part of the beta. This is TK, let's check it out. So overall, the UI hasn't changed much from the beta releases. What we have now is a full version of it, and it is stable. Uh, the gestures are very fluid. You're able to basically go halfway up to be able to get into the Recents application, or all the way to get you directly into the app drawer, and you notice the animation is very nice. We have the recommendation that's present here, the persistent search bar here, as well as the ability of getting into the search bar and most recent applications here at the bottom. Uh, the other thing that we have here is the ability of press and holding on the app, to be able to jump at the split screen, pin, app info and of course if we do this we'll be able to go in and select the other application to fill up the screen and then we can swipe it away. Um, if you're wondering how I have my uh, YouTube application running a dark mode I'll give you guys a link in the description below on how to be able to do this even on Android P without needing boot. Um, other than that I think overall the navigation options here are pretty much the same. Uh, overall the gestures launching the uh, Google uh, Assistant is pretty much the same. Of course on the Pixel devices we have the gesture we are able to do that as well. The cards are present here, they're very nice. They don't follow the theme of the system, but they're definitely very good and it launches very quickly. Uh, the app drawer is pretty much the same way, one entire list of all your apps, or you could just start doing predictive search and it will start popping up with the applications for you right here. The toggles are pretty much the same, circular with the accent color. Uh, you can turn on and turn off the dark theme and I'll share that with you guys in a second. Uh, now you notice the theme doesn't carry on into the settings, unfortunately that's something that's still there. You can search the settings tab or you can go through the different categories and you'll notice we have the digital well-being now being present and that's officially available to us in beta form in the final version of Android P or Android Pi, I gotta get used to that. Uh, battery options as far as what we have, we still have the adaptive battery to be able to get us better battery life and learn our usage and to be able to basically just shut off applications we don't need and give, keep applications that we do need so that we have better experience using the device but as well having a long battery at the same time. Of course we can turn on the battery percentage in here. Um, under the display we still have pretty much the same options. We have night light, ad uh, the adaptive brightness as well as the ability for it to learn what level of brightness you want at what location that you want it to be. Sleep option. Uh, color, as far as the ability of the temperature of the display, uh, by default it comes as natural. You are able to turn it into boosted or neutral uh, or uh, natural. I like to keep it on saturated as and it gives you that little picture here just so you can see what it looks like. Um, other than that, we can set up the uh, obviously the device theme to be dark, light, or automatic to match your wallpaper. Personally, I like to keep it as dark, although it doesn't permeate into every aspect of the device. The, uh, other, the other sections here are pretty much the same, accessibility, uh, the digital well-being really is where it kind of shines. So this is kind of an aggregate list of all the usage or the, all the applications that we've been using. So you can go into settings, clock, YouTube, camera, uh, you know, Instagram and other. Uh, there is a dashboard to this or you click that or it takes you directly into it and you can start seeing aggregate information over time. So this is yesterday's information, this is today's. I'm able to go in there and set timers for each one of my applications so that I can basically not spend too much time in them. Uh, as well as the ability of basically just seeing how my daily usage is basically spread out between the different applications. Uh, it is in beta currently and you need to be running the latest version of Android Pi to be able to get this. Uh, we do have the ability of managing notifications as well and we also have the wind down functionality. Now uh, this helps us kind of just take it easy, calm down and be able to kind of get into that sleep mode as we're getting into sleep uh, or getting ready to go to bed at night. And it turns colors into grayscale, turns on do not disturb either directly from there or from here. And then it also turns on some of the functionalities between these two hours. Now you can customize the do not disturb functionalities in here as well as, like I said, turning it on directly from that tab. Um, other than that, I think this is a very nice, uh, it was announced at Google I.O. but finally made available for our devices. Now as far as the security update, we are running August 5th as the latest security update. PPR1 is the official release and unfortunately, you know what, the Easter egg didn't really change much. So what we're getting here is pretty much P 
for Pi. If you're running this on a Pixel or Pixel 2 XL, just download the OTA. If you're running uh, an essential phone, the update should also be coming to you guys as part of an OTA. All the other devices that were part of the beta should be receiving an update, may not be the final version of Android P or Android Pi, but it will definitely be an update to a more stable version of Android Pi. Overall, very nice. I like the fact that we have it and it's available way ahead of when the hardware that was made for it was supposed to be available with it. So uh, it's very cool. Uh, the Digital Wellbeing is an application that you need to sign up for to be a beta tester for. So I'll give you guys a link for that in the description. Give it about 24 hours, you'll get a confirmation and then a link to the Play Store to download it and install it on your device. Although if you do want to get it on a device that does not have it, let's say an essential phone or even a OnePlus 6, there is a root method that I'll give you guys a link in the description below to be able to do that as well to get the digital well-being app running on your device. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and see you guys in the next video.